My name is Dr. Patel. These are my doctor tools. Let's play doctor. Do you want to play doctor too? Masi's going to the doctor. Dr. Wizzle. That's my doctor's name. What's your doctor's name? Do you like going to the doctors? I like it too, but sometimes I get a little itty bitty nervous just because I don't really like the feeling of shots, but I do love feeling good and feeling healthy and strong so I can jump and play and do all the things I need to do. What about you? So this is, what's your name again? Oh, it's Isha. This is Isha, say hi. Hi, Isha. Hello. This is my first patient of the day and I was hoping you would help me give her a checkup. Do you wanna help me give her a checkup? Great. My name is Dr. Patel. These are my doctor tools. Let's play doctor. Do you wanna play doctor too? You do? Do you wanna go get some doctor tools? And even if you don't have a toy like this, you can also just use anything you see around the house. Like if you have a stick or a pencil, we can make believe that's like a shot or the, the, like the stick thing that they check the back of your throat with or what else, there's a thermometer. You can make believe anything is a thermometer or you can even pretend just holding your hand like this. You can make believe anything. Are you ready? Okay, so let me open up my kit here. <laughs> Hi, Isha. First, before I start doctoring, I think one of the most important parts of being a doctor is knowing your patients. And this is my patient. I'm a very busy doctor, but I remember every single one of my patients' names, and I love to learn about them and know how they're doing, not just in their body but also in their lives, at school, at home, and their, with their families and friends. So I'm going to ask Isha some questions. Isha is five years old. Hi, Isha. Hello, Dr. Patel. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How about you? I'm well. I'm so excited to see you. How's school going? I love school and I love making new friends. Oh, wonderful. Well, today I'm going to go down this checklist. Ta -da! Do you see this checklist? This helps me remember all the things that I need to check to make sure that I go through every single item and check all of these parts of her body to make sure she's healthy and happy and functioning at her best. Okay, are you ready? First, I'm going to check your what do you see here? Can you guys help me? What's this? What do you see here? That's right. That's an ear. So let's check Isha's ears. Okay, let's see if I've got my ear checker upper. Hmm. Is this what I need? No, that's not a shot. What about this? No, that's a thermometer. What about this? No, that's going to check her blood pressure. That is some medicine and some ointment. Hmm. See, I don't even have all my tools, but I'm going to make believe I'm looking inside her ears. Hmm. Looks clear to me. Okay, can you turn around? Hmm. Looks clear to me. Okay, what's next on the checklist? What's this? That's right, that's her eyes. We're going to do a little eye test, and here is the eye test. Okay, Isha. Let's see what you can see. That's funny. Let's see what you can see. Doesn't that sound funny? Okay, let's see. What is on the first row? What's on the first row? Can you help Isha? No, this is Isha's job. You're right. She must do this by herself, but maybe you can just pretend that you're the patient at home and help me too. Isha, what do you see on the top row? That's right, a boat. Okay, what do you see on this row right here? That's right, a heart and plus sign. 
And another boat, a tiny boat. Nice job. Okay, what about this row right here? And the very bottom one right here. A star, a moon, a circle, and a flag. Yay, you did it, Isha. Your eyes look great. Okay, what's next on the checklist? Can you guys help me? What's this? What are we going to check next? Her tongue? Yes. Great. Can you stick out your tongue? It's underneath your trunk. This is Isha's trunk. Can you stick out your tr tongue? Uh, okay, let me look in there. Hmm. Looks good. Your tonsils look great, Isha. Okay, what's next? What's this? Her heart. We're going to use this tool to check her blood pressure. See, I'm missing some of my tools here. But we're just going to have to make believe, right? It's fun to make believe. Okay, let's check her heart. I do have this one. So I'm going to wrap this around her arm just like this. There we go. Okay, now we're going to push this button. Ready? And we're going to watch this dial. And I'm going to clock the numbers and make sure her blood pressure is within normal range. That is a happy, healthy heart, Isha. Thank you, Dr. Patel. You're so very welcome. Okay, what's next on the checklist? What's this? Hmm. Oh, that's instructions for... A splinter! You have a splinter, Isha. Hmm, let's see what I can do about that. I've got my tweezers. I'm going to check in my bag. I need some tweezers. Okay, this might hurt a little bit, Isha, but I am here and I'm pretty good at this. I've been doing this a long time. And I would say this is my 563rd splinter I've removed. So please don't worry. And if you need to, you can hold your mommy's hand if you get nervous. Or you can just take a deep breath and listen to my voice. Does it help when I talk? Would you like words or no words? No words, please. I just want to hold my mommy's hand. That's great. Thank you for telling me what you need. Okay. Should I give you a countdown? Yes, and then no more words, Dr. Patel. Okay, does Dr. Patel talk too much sometimes? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Do you see that? I got the splinter out. You're all better. She says, thanks, Dr. Patel. I feel so much better. Oh, I'm so glad. Now, very last on this list is a her annual shot. So you're going to get one shot. Mm, do you like shots? No. Yeah, I understand that. But do you like to feel healthy? Yes, I do. So this is what I like to call a big yes and a little yes. What happens is sometimes we have to choose, well, you don't have to, but we choose the big yes, which is feeling good and strong and healthy over the little yes, which is saying yes to getting no shots. You wish you could say yes, like I don't ever want to get a shot, but that's a little yes and a little no. That's actually a big no and a little no, you know? Is Masi talking in riddle again? Masi, <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, here is my shot. Okay, this is going to pinch. Let's count to three. And you can close your eyes or you can keep them open. Some people like to close their eyes. Some people like to keep them open. Which do you prefer? Do you like to keep your eyes closed or keep your eyes open? Okay, that is your choice. Ready? And a band-aid. And you're all done. Did you see that? She did it. It was so good to see you, Isha. Bye, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Dr. Patel. Bye.
Okay. That was so much fun. Did we help Isha at the doctor's? Yes, we did. Maybe you can join me next time and we'll visit some more patients. Do you want to help me take care of more patients? I would love to help have you help me. And maybe you can play at home too. Next time you can bring your own doctor's kit and your own doctor tools and we'll play and learn together. Bye, bud. I'll see you next time.